Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's LTC Mr. here coming at you with another L7 Debts video review. And in this video, I want to go over some other information uh, in order to include compounding to the point to where you're also taking out your initial deposit so that way you're risk free. We're going to go over the importance of trying to achieve the uh, the uh, the ranks uh, in the community and understanding why you would probably want to go ahead and strive for that and also some other information that's going to be very important for this this uh, opportunity here but before i do so i'd like to say that i'm not a financial advisor i do not advise on how to invest or spend their money all i do is show opportunities that i believe that benefit to anyone around the world and also go our opportunities that i believe that will, that will not be beneficial to anyone around the world so with that said let's get to this video so as you already know, L7 Debts uh, has been operating since what, like mid June, June 12th, something like that, and they've already achieved so much in their first 90 days that many uh, projects in this space that call themselves legit projects are unable to achieve uh, because you know those being scam opportunities and everything like that. Now I'm not saying that L7 Debts is gonna last forever or anything like that, but what if that that's the case to where it can last a long time? Just like what's happened with all these other dis, uh, decentralized exchanges like Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, Uniswap, Sun Swap, Curve, and the list goes on. So L7 Debts is actually setting itself up perfectly to be able to do the same thing and it probably achieve more because of what the founders are trying to bring to the community to be able to earn passively as well as being able to trade and access different resources through this decentralized exchange that's going, that's going to be launching there publicly later on this year. So, you know, you already know it's audited by Certic, so you can check out the audit right here, um, and you can see what, what's going on here. Now, I haven't been ranked yet, but, you know, Certic is like that. They will, you know, audit things, but they won't give it a rank sometimes. And, you know, so they got the one thing that was acknowledged because L7 Debts um, has it to where they will manually verify a withdrawal request that's more than $500. It's always been that way since day one, and that's not going to change. They want to make sure that you are who you say you are. They're going to uh, verify the IP addresses, that kind of stuff, to make sure that you are the right person that's going to be withdrawn from your account. All right. So, Certic audited right here, as you can see. Now, let's get back here to the website. This is my wife's account, as a matter of fact. So, I'm going to click right here. Just uh, got to sign back in. <clears throat> uh, get that done real quick. And we're going to go to community. So, right now, uh, in the community, she's still a V0. So, she has not achieved the rank yet. Now, is she getting closer? Absolutely. So, you look down here at the team pledge is $25,100. If you take out her $3,300, so let's go ahead and do that, minus $3,300, she's sitting at $21,800 in team volume. Now, if you understand this opportunity, you need to have $20,000 team volume in order to be able to get to the V1. So, um, let me see here. I, I got to uh, let me pause the video. I got to bring up the document again. I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared off my screen. All right, so here we go. If you see here, in order to get the V1, you need to have 20,000 team volume in order to be able to receive 10% uh, 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 you know, until affinity in your downline. So at this moment, once you get to V1, it's not just that you earn 10% from two levels deep. You also earn 10% from everyone underneath you now at this moment. So it doesn't matter if you're going 10 levels deep, 20 levels deep, you earn 10% per day off of each NFT uh, generation or profit per day. Okay? So that right there is the reason why you probably want to strive to become a V1. So imagine if you got, you know, $5,000 that's being generated per day in your team volume. You take 5,000 times that by 10%, that's $500 per day to you. Uh, plus what you're generating with your NFTs as well. People are already doing this. And then you can see where the qualifications are going forward. So to get the V2, you need to have two people in two different legs. That's a V1. Then you get to earn 20%. And then if you get the V3, you need to have two people in two different layers as a V2 in order to get 30%. And you get the point going on forward from there. And then if you get up here to partner, you can see right here it's 50% plus 10%. I don't understand that. But uh, once I get to that point, hopefully in the later down the road, maybe if that's possible, I'll be able to find out more about that. All right. I mean, I could ask Mudline uh, for the information, but right now I don't feel like that's important. Just focus on the V1 right now. Okay. Now. Moving on. So uh, the thing is, you see that she has 21,800 um, volume in underneath her, right? She does not qualify for a V1. 
and here is the reason why let me find um actually i think that's in that pdf again as well let me see was it here oh yeah so right here so you see right here by me having sixteen thousand, or if you get twenty thousand in your uh, strong leg that strong leg is going to be uh, disqualified so you got to focus on two of the legs to get up to twenty thousand dollars combined or you can do it like this right here as well so Twenty thousand one leg, then you get twenty thousand another leg. You qualify for V one. You get ten thousand one uh, and your um and uh, one leg, then you get ten thousand, ten thousand the other two legs to combine for twenty thousand. You become a V one. Then if you get seven thousand and and one leg, then you get seven K, seven K, and a six K to combine uh in total for twenty seven thousand dollars. You know this right here would give you twenty thousand right here, but you can still qualify for V one. As you can see. This right here requires forty thousand dollars in total. This one requires thirty thousand dollars in total, and then this one requires twenty-seven thousand in total. So if you can get four legs or five legs, and then you're able to grow your legs out to where you can get the, the volume right here for V one right for this example, you can get it with just twenty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, so uh, this is the reason why she's not a V one because she got twenty-one thousand dollars, but I don't. She don't have the, the 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 other qualifications in order to get the V1 for the other legs. But she's on her way because there's one guy uh, right now underneath her, or I don't know who the person could be a female that has five thousand dollars in their account over fifty one hundred and total volume underneath her in that one leg separately from mine. All right, so that's the reason why I put my account underneath hers so that way I'm able to grow. The volume underneath her a whole lot faster, so that way we can eliminate one leg, and then we just focus on the other legs. Now I'm already using her referral link going forward to bring in more people into the uh, the opportunity. So now you see what's going on there. We about to get paid out here again soon. Matter of fact, let me check to see if we have been paid out. So nope, have been paid out. So she has almost three hundred dollars in current rewards, and uh, her automatic staked amount is at one hundred eighty six L uh, USD. So right now, that right there is generating an additional over three LSD per day. That's not bad at all. All right. So now, I want to uh, explain to you why L7 Dex is doing some things that other opportunities never done before. How many opportunities do you know of that has their token listed well before ninety days of their existence? You don't. You don't hear about it often, right? Well, here we are with uh l7 debts with their token right here listed on met c met c is a top 25 cryptocurrency change in the world right now the price of l7 debts is going for 32 dollars and 83 cents so it's listed the ticker is lsd7 and the reason why we went with lsd7 instead of lsd like we see on the platform is because there are already tokens or cryptos that's named that got the ticker lsd so they had to use lsd7 to distinguish well I know that this is for lucky seven debts all right so literally you can go on here right now and trade the LSD seven token right now and it's going for thirty two dollars and eighty three cents right now if you round it up so yeah we already got the liquidity there um, uh, being added right there in the market and you know it's, it's important to go ahead and get this token as much as you can because not only the bull run is going to happen next year but also that is only a max supply of 210 million tokens and they got a they got a burn mechanism they're going to activate later on to where they're going to automatically burn off tokens to where they only have 21 million tokens maximum supply like bitcoin so they're hoping to complete uh, you know to pretty much do like a supply and demand kind of situation like bitcoin to where the supply is low and demand is high and it's going to drive the price up to ridiculous amounts of uh you know uh, you know um uh, money uh, potentially all right so the other thing that's going on huobi global is getting ready to receive the, our votes to be able to vote for ls um uh, ls uh, l7 debt so lsd7 to be added or listed on huobi global now this vote is going to be happening tomorrow okay so you need to have usd in order to vote for one usd will allow you to be able to vote one time so if you one of those people that want to vote multiple times like myself i'm gonna end up adding like 20 usd so i can vote 20 times there's also a competition going on uh for this so 
who always eighth prime vote is live went up to two thousand dollars prepare rockets to vote ls um l7 debts uh lsd participants can utilize the rockets to cast votes follow uh at l7 debts and uh at whoever global click to uh, uh this link right here to submit and then 100 winners 20 you uh or i think that's usd per person and then you got the voting rules right here then how many rockets you uh do you get one usdt equals one rocket equals one vote when it's the stop shot taken is it's gonna be taken tomorrow at 12 utc so what's that gonna be like around four o'clock a.m my time three o'clock a.m bogota time maybe you know like three or four o'clock um a.m eastern time something like that you can look up the the utc cal converter calculator on your time to figure out when it is that it's, uh, the snapshot is going to be taken so deposit now to get more rockets all right so that's how you're able to do that we also going to be holding a uh, zoom uh, with one of the leading uh, uh earners in l7 debts who is my upline as well uh, he's going to be holding a zoom right here uh on Friday and you can see the times here and then we're going to be uh, then he's going to be holding three more zooms next week as well for new people that wants to learn about or understand what L7 debts is so if you want to get access to the information please feel free to join my telegram group or my Facebook group so that way you can stay in and know what's going to L7 debts because uh, my upline has direct access to the founders of L7 debts and he can always get your uh, your questions answered if he don't know the answer to it himself by asking them directly okay um and now let's continue on here now the compound calculator right now i, I got I, I was just going playing with some numbers here and this is my account uh you know so i got fifty one hundred dollars in my account right now i'm getting ready to compound again so what i'm doing every time i have 107 dollars available in my account right now i'm compounding it and I have my goal. So I got my goal of getting my account to $6,200, which I can do by somewhere around mid, mid of this uh, month right here, right? So by compounding the way that I'm doing, I'm, I'll be able to compound like five times per week. To start, you know, with having a $5,000 account. And that's going to be able to allow me to earn more faster throughout the month. So once I get my account to $6,200, then I'm going to leave the rest of it and let it accumulate. Then I withdraw that by the first or second of next month. And then I better uh, start the whole process over again because my whole strategy is by four months. I want my account to be at $10,000. Now, I got my, my percentage earnings pretty much that I'm keeping is that 30%. But let's see if what happens when I change this to 40%. And I'm doing semi-weekly because I can't really implement my strategy of showing five days per week, right? Of uh, uh, compounding for, uh, you know, five days per, per week. So I'm doing semi-weekly. So that allowed me, you know, well, 104 times per year to be able to compound based off these numbers. Now, the numbers are actually going to be higher if you actually think about my strategy, five times per week compounding. But we're just going to use semi-weekly. And then I'm going to show you the difference, um, you know, of semi-weekly and weekly. Okay, but let's, let's put this at 40%. So if I'm keeping 40% of the profits, I'll be able to have by December time, over eleven thousand dollars well over eleven thousand dollars in my account right and that's my goal my goal is to get to ten thousand dollars by the end of this year i get to eleven thousand dollars plus by the end of this year that's even better so you can see down here uh the first month which is going to be next month i'll be able to keep 776 dollars of the profits right the rest of it is going to be compounded in there so you're going to be I'm going to be making in total almost two thousand dollars, but I keep seven hundred seventy six dollars for myself. And then the next month, I keep nine hundred fifty three dollars out of the two thousand, almost twenty four hundred dollars. And then my account's going to get over seven six hundred dollars, right? Then you go right here, and I'll be able to uh, uh, withdraw uh, almost twelve hundred dollars right here for myself, while almost generating uh, three thousand dollars. So my account at that moment would be at ninety four fifty, and then to finish it all up, so I'll be able to get to over eleven thousand six hundred dollars by December time frame. So we're already here in September. During this month of September, I'm getting up to here for sure. I'll be getting to six two hundred dollars this month. Then next month, I'll be able to get to at least seventy five hundred dollars. And uh, so next month is October, November. It would be over ninety uh, ninety four ninety five hundred dollars. And then by December, this is what I'm looking at. 
During that time, I would have withdrawn over $4,300. My initial deposit was $4,000. So in four months time, I would be able to withdraw my initial deposit plus some to get into profits. And at the same time, I'm growing my account. Now, let's say that you don't have fifty, uh, you know, $5,100 or $4,000 to get started. The strategy that, you know, we're, that we are, you know, the, uh, for this right here to work perfectly, you need to start with a minimum of $1,000 pretty much, right? I know I did in my last video, I showed a 50-50 um, profit split. But let's do 40, 40, uh, uh, 60 and see how that goes. And we're going to calculate this right now. Leave everything else the same. So you will have withdrawn $850 in four months while growing your account to over $2,200 during that same time. So if I was to put this at five months, calculate that, you will have withdrawn your initial deposit and some while growing your account to over $2,700. Or pretty much $2,700 because you better keep the extra because it's, it's like $100 for NFT, $1,000, $10,000. 100000 NFT is not available still right now. So let's say that you got $2,700 in your account and you will have withdrawn over $1,200 at that time. Okay. This is a strategy that you can use. Now, do you need to use it? Absolutely not. You can withdraw 100% of your earnings until you get all your initial deposit if you want to. But if you someone like me who's trying to generate a passive income while still um, using uh, uh, taking profits out at the same time, you know, it's just like this is the way uh, that we that we're doing it right now. The majority of us in this space are doing it this way. To where, you know, it's either, you know, we're keeping 30%, 40%, 50%, something like that. And we're putting the rest of it back in there to compound as frequently as possible. Okay. Now, this is on semi-weekly. You can see this right here. Now, I'm going to switch this over to weekly. You're leaving everything else the same. You remember these numbers right here. We're going to do that. Now, you see, the numbers are down lower if you do weekly. Now, would you be able to do weekly with $1,000? Absolutely not because you're only making, what, like $10.08 per day. All right? So this right here is going to be done bi-weekly. And this is what you're looking at. Okay? Now, I know that the uh, the first time, first example was misleading. But I just wanted to show you the difference between how it is that my account is generating. And, you know, I'm going to go back to my account numbers. Put this back on four months. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you the semi-weekly again. This is what we're looking at semi-weekly in four months' time with 40% of the earnings that I'm keeping every every single month, right? Now we go to weekly. This is what we're looking at. So it's, it's like a hundred dollars less in withdrawals over here, and it's also less investment uh, growth over here as well. And then, but if I was uh, stick with what I was showing, like monthly. You know, it's even less, but I, you know, look at the withdrawals as well. It's even less. So by doing the free, the free good compound in the way that I'm doing it, I get to my certain goal every single month before I decide to accumulate and withdraw the rest of it at the beginning of the, the following month. This is the opportunity that I'm looking at more or less. Now, it's going to be actually more than this because like I said, I'm able to compound five days a week right now with the $5,000 account. I've already compounded once this week. It was back on Monday, as a matter of fact. I'm compounding again today. And then with the overflow of profits that I'm getting uh, today and then tomorrow, I get paid again, I'll be able to compound again tomorrow. And then I won't be able to compound on Friday, but I compound again on Saturday and Sunday. And then I won't compound on Monday, then I compound again on Tuesday and Wednesday and next week. That's how it's going to be going for my account. Until it's going to be get to the point where I'm able to compound three days in a row sometimes and then compound, um, you know, two days in a row, then, uh, you know, for a little while. And then, you know, it's, it's going to be incredible to see how this account growth is going to happen. Now, everything that I showed you, it all depends on your belief level. Seeing this right here and all, with all the information I had already accumulated. The share in the community and that I've been and uh, you know a pay attention to myself, my belief level is very high with L7 debts. Because I know that uh, we're we're dealing with people who already knows what they're doing in the cryptocurrency space. They made 
a, a lot of money uh, mining Bitcoin. They go over 300,000 Bitcoin miners. They're not mining right now because it's not profitable for them to mine. But they was also able to create their own cryptocurrency exchange and sold it for billions of dollars. When, when China cracked down on cryptocurrency exchanges back in like 2017. And then they went into other businesses in Malaysia, which they still part owners of those businesses making tons of money every single month. These guys are very successful business people that understand cryptocurrency space and also business. So, and then when you look at what they've been doing, getting listed on MetC, getting ready to be listed, hopefully, with the vote of the community on to Huobi Global, which is a top five exchange. If I remember correctly, they're flip flopping between um, two and three with Coinbase every single day. For the you know, uh, but they're the top three cryptocurrency exchange. Whoever Globe is, and then they're already in talks with KuCoin as well to get listed on KuCoin. They know the owner of Binance directly. They're going to be looking at getting listed on Binance by the end of this year, early next year as well. So these people understand the pro the progress uh, the progression of projects, and also sticking to the roadmap. And that's what I appreciate the most. That's why my belief level is so high uh, with this project. And that I'm able to, I'm willing to do this compounding strategy that I just showed you on how to grow my account while also becoming whole. Notice, I'm not focusing on, you know, hey, this is how much money you can make in a year's time. You know, this is how much you can make in five years' time. No, I'm not focusing on that. Focus on becoming whole first. And if you like me, you want to create a passive income. Look at what um pretty much what this will be able to do for you on uh let's say let's take this number right here. Let's take eleven thousand six hundred dollars. We're gonna go to a daily compound side over here. Eleven thousand six hundred, and let's say that's one point zero. Let's just let's just use the current number right now, okay? And we're gonna go two months right here. And let's say we're gonna include all days, yes, and uh okay, so we're gonna calculate that. Look at how much money you'll be able to make per day. How much? How many of you are working a full-time job, or or is you, are you making one hundred twenty-five dollars per day on your full-time job? You know, are you making down here when you get to eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars? Are you making two hundred dollars a day per day working a full-time job? And you know, and then you get down here to twenty-two thousand three hundred. Are you making over ten thousand seven hundred dollars a day? You know, uh, oh, hold on, that's not right. That's in that's in total. Are you making over two hundred thirty-eight dollars per day on your full-time job? Would you have made ten thousand seven hundred dollars in what was that four months' time working? A, oh, this two months' time working a full-time job. That's in two months. Over ten point seven thousand dollars. Let me tell you this right here: people are already doing these numbers and more because people understand the business and the people that they bring in understands this opportunity. When you're talking about decentralized exchange, you got people who understands the power of decentralized exchanges that's promoting this only right now. You don't have too many influencers that are promoting this right now. At all, will they be coming later on down the road? I'm sure they will. Once, the, once all the uh, the other projects that they're promoting scams out on them, you know, this right here is set up right now. Yes, on Ponzi Nomics, but they need to have Ponzi Nomics right now in order for them to grow the community and be able to introduce this uh, this platform as a decentralized exchange to the the community to the public. Then they're able to add the trading platform. Then they'll be able to bring into uh, the liquidity pools. They'll be able to bring a whole lot more resources to this platform. But right now, we need to focus on growing the community as much as possible to 100,000 people. Once you get to 100,000 people, which we have well over 30,000 people right now, once you get to 100,000 people, we're able to launch this platform publicly. And then we'll be able to look forward to all the other tools that are going to be adding to bring more liquidity. Uh, and volume, and, you know, all these other transaction fees and everything to the platform without having to you focus on just on Ponzi Nomics. This is why you want to get in now. If you've been one of those people sitting on the fence, watching 
all the action happening, you've missed out on a whole lot of uh, potential income so far. Because the other thing, you want to be here collecting, accumulating as much of this uh, LSD as possible. My wife's account right now is sitting at 200, over 276 LSD tokens. And the platform price is showing us at $1. Later on down the road, once we're able to go public with this exchange, eventually the secondary market, which is MetC exchange, is going to be linked to the primary market, which is L7 debts. And the price is going to be the same. Right now, the price here is showing that it is $1 per token. A one USDT per token. I won't say it's one dollar exactly because USDT will fluctuate to like ninety eight cents, ninety seven cents, and then it go up to like a dollar and three, dollar and four, something like that. It will fluctuate. So one USDT is what is going for per LSD token. This is what we're focusing on. All of us that's in here taking advantage of this opportunity right now. This right here. If this don't motivate you right here, saying that this this token is already listed on Met C, I don't know what will. So, get in while you can, if you choose to do so. Do your research, of course. Study that. Look at the videos. I got a lot of videos that's shared in the Telegram community. There's people that's not even looking at the videos. But they always want to ask questions about what's going on. It's like, there are many videos, Zoom recordings, YouTube videos. I got YouTube videos as well, going over this opportunity. Watch the videos to get an understanding of what's going on with this. It's very simple to understand. Very straightforward. Alright? So, I'm not going to keep this video too much longer. I, I'm, I'm very excited about this opportunity, as you can tell. I can go on and on about L7 debts. But, you know, I'm going to leave it up to you to make a decision on if you want to get in on something that's going to be, I believe, is going to be revolutionary. Or, you want to see it on the sideline. Missed out on the opportunities just like we did on Bitcoin, we like we did all the other decentralized changes in the past. Like we did Ethereum. We got an angel investor over in Ethereum here with L7 debts as well. So that's something else. You want you want some more verification? How about that? We got an angel investor, one of the uh, top angel investors of Ethereum. He's also heavily invested inside L7 debts. But that's all to say for right now. Thanks to an end. If you like what you heard and saw, please also subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to share this video with other people. If you're interested in joining L7 Debts, I have my links down in the description of this video as well as in the comment section. So that's all I have to say for right now. I'll see you next time in this video. Take care, everyone.